As mentioned in previous videos, installing LoopCloud not only gives you access to the LoopCloud standalone app and plugin, but also two free instrument plugins that make up the suite, drum and play. Both of which now come with an expanded factory library with over 200 new presets for play and 500 extra one shots with drum. So I'll add drum to a MIDI track now to give you a quick overview of how it works. It's opened up with one of the artist intro kits loaded, so I can hit play on my project transport now to check out the beats. To browse to other patches, I just click the preset name at the top, and then I can find kits in my library on the purchase tab, where you can see the intro kits here that I can play to preview. All previewing is done at the same tempo as your project. Then I just hit load to open up a kit. Of course, like any other drum instrument, you can also trigger drums with MIDI notes from C1 upwards. So you can always turn off the sequencer and work with the plugin using MIDI notes in the door if you prefer. Browsing for new packs is done in exactly the same way, going to the browser by clicking on the preset display, only now on the store tab, where you'll find regular packs by many different labels, as well as Loopmaster's expansion packs, which come with a number of different kits, as well as 128 one-shots in the selected genre to help with making kits for that style of music. Just hit the Buy Pack button to add any packs to your library, so that they then appear in the Purchased Kits area. On the Starter Kits tab, you have some helpful presets to get you started making your own beats. The Basic Kit, for example, is a simple break beat. But once loaded up, I can make use of the Sample Randomizer by selecting a drum and then hitting Randomize to switch out the one shot to something else. and I can select all pads to randomize all of the drums. Then just hit save when I'm happy with the kit. The kit then shows up under the saved kits tab in the browser, where it can be instantly reloaded at a later date. Individual sounds in a kit can be edited by selecting them, and then using the dials below the pads. And they can be sequenced into patterns using the sequencer underneath that. Whilst a mixer page is also available for improved mixing of kits and accessing of both send and master effects. For more info about all of this, check out the separate drum tutorial series. Now I'll open up Play on a separate MIDI track and give you a quick overview of that. This instrument is for playing melodies of different kinds, be it bass lines, leads or pads. You can load up different presets by clicking on the preset display and then going into the factory library, or using the arrow buttons to cycle through. Or you can filter presets by choosing things like genre and instrument type. Editing sounds can be done using the four macro controls, as well as filter dials, or more comprehensively by going to the Edit tab, where you can further manipulate samples, as well as adjust envelopes and LFO modulation, effects, mod wheel and macro mappings, and more. Separate videos on Play are available for more details about this area. Finally, although Play comes with well over 300 presets, if you want to expand your library in a particular direction, click Get More to switch over to LoopCloud, where you can browse through the available presets. Changing up tags will allow you to search for different instrument types or genres.
and just hit the I button on the graphic in the player after selecting a patch for full details of that particular pack. Then use the Buy button to add it to your library. Thank you.